Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Liz Green. I'm going to talk about transformation now. Kirsty Bertoft lives in Scarborough. She's an author. Her latest book is called Break Free from Pain. She's a life coach. She helps with stress, anxiety and managing chronic pain. Now, when we talk about transformation, Kirsty was a chronic pain sufferer. She was trapped in an abusive relationship for years. So one day she took her three sons and she left for a remote mountain region in Spain to live with the uh, Ishea monks. What they taught her changed her life. And I'm so pleased. Kirsty is with us. How are you? I'm really well, Liz. How are you? I'm all right. I love the idea that you'd had enough <laughs> and you packed everything up, you know, like you do. And you were like out you that door for a different Absolutely. life. That takes some courage. Yeah. It takes some courage. Yeah, it does. But I guess it was kind of led by the fact that I just hit desperation. I was just in this place of anybody who's ever suffered with anxiety or panic attacks will will be able to relate to this. I just got to a point where enough was enough. And I did what most of us do when we're in a crisis. I reached out for help. I went to see my GP, who was, I have to say, fantastic. However, what they were offering, I knew wasn't the solution. I knew that taking a tablet for the rest of my life was not going to sort out my head because it was my head that was the problem. It was, and I don't know if you can relate to this, but it was like that very negative, inner critic that was constantly putting myself down. And to the point, you know, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I would feel like I wouldn't dare do things because I'd end up talking myself out of it in my own inner torture almost. And I, I, uh, I can relate. I have a degree in it. And I know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I know <laughs> to in, sort of engage change and yeah. think about living this life that we have differently mm. is a big yeah. deal. And But your mm -hmm. path was so unusual in that yeah. you left the country. You went somewhere so remote yeah. that nobody would have thought yeah. of it. You took three children with you and went to live with a load of monks. Now, that's not a typical escape <laughs> route. What, what happened there? No. no, it's not. And I think, like... You know, you could never predict that to ever really happen to you in your life. It was one of those things that unfolded and came almost across my path. And it started off when I was in this low place, I started soul searching. And back then there was no internet. So it was back to old fashioned library, go down, get books, go on courses, do whatever you can to find anything really to, to feel better. And it was kind of a um, about eight, two years into my sort of soul searching that the Ashayas crossed my path. And it was a weekend course in England and it was a meditation course. And I just was like, I don't know, these words came out of my mouth and I didn't even really know what they meant, but it was like, I felt like I needed to get my Zen back. Mm -hmm. So I went on this course and honestly, Liz, something happened on the Saturday morning. And the only way I can describe it is for so long, my life had been like this jigsaw puzzle and there'd be this one piece that just couldn't find its way home. And on the Saturday morning, they shared some information and I suddenly went ka-chunk. And that piece just fitted in perfectly and I saw the bigger picture for, honestly, probably the first time in my life. Wow. And what I realised is I've been trying to, in inverted commas, fix myself because I thought I was broken I really did on the outside so I would change jobs I would buy things I would take new hobbies up I'd even change boyfriends you know do whatever it took to try and feel that moment of kind of escapism I guess yes and what they taught me is that I needed to go inwards and make the change from the inside out and that is what was the trigger for me to go I need more of this so I did you the kids up. Yes. Sorry, go on. No, I was going to say, um, so, I mean, did you have a faith before this? Were you following a particular creed or faith? No, oh, right. no, I well, wasn't. I mean, so I you weren't spiritual? To... You weren't spiritual? Well, I, yeah, I would say that I've always been into books and I've read a lot and I guess I won my journey. Yeah, I definitely, yes. I was intrigued and interested. And I had this inner... I don't know, this inner knowing that there has to be more to life, but I didn't know what it was. 
Okay. I just had a, like, I guess you could call it a faith, couldn't you, really? But it was this, I just felt it was like a spark inside that knew that had to be more, but I didn't know what it was. So you you spend a weekend with the monks, you get the light bulb moment, eventually you scoop up three children and you go to Spain to be with the monks. Yeah. (laughs) Basically, I took them out of school, we drove to Spain... And we lived at the top of a Spanish mountain where I studied, the, it was called the Mastery of the Self. And the, the children were, I mean, they went to their own little day school and they were hanging out with, basically with monks who were teaching them all sorts of beautiful things. I mean, it was very holistic. It, they did a lot of cooking and making things. And they were younger then as well, so it really fitted into their age bracket. And they had this, they went on their own little mastery, really. They had their own journey with it all. And... It was just one of those kind of <laughs> phenomenal, obscure ex- life experiences that I could never have dreamt of ever by thinking that I'd ever get to do, and I did. Well, listening to Kirsty Bortoff's story, you know, if you've seen the film uh, Eat, Pray, Love, where you go off to find yourself somewhere, she's done it, she's been explaining. She has a book out now, which is called Break Free from Pain. She was also suffering from chronic pain at this time and now lives in Scarborough. More on this extraordinary journey after this. I'm Liz Green. We're talking about transformation with a woman from Scarborough, well, who was brave enough to take the step, along with her three young children, to change her life. And she spent years living with the Bright Path Ishaya monks. Now, I know what a Buddhist is. Hello, Kirsty Bortoff. Thanks for being here. I know what a Buddhist Hi. is. Um, I've seen, you know, pictures of living on the Himalayan mountains and all of that. But who are these particular monks? Is it Buddhism or is it their own faith? So the Shires um, teach a type of meditation, which means to, it's called ascension, which means to rise above the mind. And it's got a real heritage to it that goes all the way back to India and it's hundreds of years old. It's just the most simplest meditation that I've ever in my experience, come across that works. Yeah. I've tried quite a few different ones, and this, for me, is the one that just works. And when you say works, do you rise above your mind? I mean, I don't think you elevate, do you? But what, what do you mean? <laughs> it, what does it... No, if you did, I'd be really impressed. But what does that mean? Yeah, it's a great question. So what I mean is, you go know, back to what I said earlier, when my mind before was so negative and busy and full of like harsh words all the time. It's not that we don't get, because we've actually got no control over thoughts and what thoughts arrive in our awareness, but we have total control over our relationship to thoughts. And I didn't realize that prior to meeting the Ashayas. And what this meditation has allowed me to do is, my outside world doesn't change that much. In fact, it looks fairly similar, but my relationship to things on the outside have changed completely. So things that used to really stress me out, it's not like I don't put barriers and boundaries in place and and look at things from different angles. I do, but I don't have that where I'm in a future moment constantly worrying about something that hasn't happened yet, which is what I used to be like. I would always be living my life in another moment that was not now. And that's where the stress and anxiety and all the things that made me feel awful used to happen. Since learning to ascend, I have learned to be able to be more present. And it's not that stressful things don't happen to me ever in my life. Of course, I'm human, but I have a totally different mechanism to be able to relate to that potential stress or stress that's happening in the moment. And therefore, I don't allow myself anymore to go off into it, which is what was causing me the distress and the pain, the emotional, mental and physical pain. I mean, you were living with chronic pain. Your new book uh, suggests that you can break free from that. This is pain that's severe and perhaps doesn't respond to drugs and could have all sorts of different causes. So are you in Mm. pain now? Have you ascended that? No, I'm not in physical pain. And actually, my biggest pain that I had to get over was more about um, panic attacks and anxiety, which mm. is, I know, you know, basically more mental pain because 
and that you couldn't see so it was also really um i found it very difficult because people wouldn't realize where you're at so that's been the biggest shift for me is overcoming that and no i'm not anxious anymore and no i'm not um i don't have panic attacks anymore and i i'm not saying stressful things don't still happen they do but i, I have the the facilities to be able to intervene and allow myself to work through it before and, it becomes something that's out of control and can anybody do it um i mean you spent some time uh, on the bright path uh, for the mastery yeah. of the self i understand that yeah. and that's a technique yeah. that you have now homed for others might say yeah. for them the equivalent is praying to a christian god mm-hmm. or praying in judaism or praying in islam however what you have achieved and how you've achieved it did it take 10 minutes or did it take 10 years no, it's taken me years, but what I can tell you is what I have done because I realised when I came back to the UK and um, more and more clients have turned up with mental health issues and especially now, I mean, it's gone through the roof. Um, what I realised is that I could fast track people. So I created a system called the Freedom Alignment Method and that is what I use my clients today. And that is essentially an amalgamation of all sorts of teachings that I've picked up along the way with amazing teachers that have crossed my path, including the Ashayas. And so now I've created this system, it means you don't have to go and spend another decade to get the results that it's taken me. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been talking about eat, pray, love. So it could be quite zen-ish, a bit hippy-dippy, a bit alternative. Would that be doing what you do and what you've experienced, you know, a misservice, really? Because it sounds to be much broader than that. It definitely is, Liz. In fact, most of my clients are high-end professionals. So, you know, they're they're running corporate companies and they're, you know, they're they're not hippy-dippy at all, but they have an overactive mind that's busy, that will not switch off, they can't enjoy their life, and they don't know how to, even though they might be incredibly successful, they don't know what to do with this busyness of their heads, and they come to me for that. And so, no, it's definitely not hippy dippy but i can understand why we have that relationship to things like this and we see things like that but actually in my my experience i think everybody needs to know this information and that's kind of where i feel like i'm at i feel like i need to get this out yeah. and let people know that they are way more powerful than they realize and when we're feeling stressed we're feeling overwhelmed we're feeling anxious it can feel like a hole of terror and And I get it because I've been there, but you don't have to live like that. You know, life's a thriving, not surviving. And if you want the help and support on that, I actually have a brand new free course on my um, website, which just go and download it. It's completely free and it's called Reduce Stress and Increase Freedom. And it will give you an insight into what the Freedom Alignment Method is. Completely free, but it'll also give you an outcome. Are you happy? I am happy, yes. Are you? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Today, this afternoon, I'm happy to be talking to you and talking uh, across the region, but I don't think yeah. I used to take it all for granted. I don't know. I don't know. No, and that's good. No, and I don't either. Life, you know, is this incredible roller coaster, but definitely it's for living and being appreciative of, and uh, every step of the way is so important. So there's no doubt about that. And I well, do love life, yeah. Yeah, and there you are in Scarborough, happily doing. Good luck with the book. And Thank it's you. such a joy to talk to you. Thank you. Your story is amazing. Thank you, Liz. Absolutely amazing. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Kirsty Bortoft in Scarborough, uh, who is a Bright Path Ishaya monk. And that's how she got there. And that's what she's achieved. I think that's amazing.